You may have seen them at Miranda's Park parties and at schools around West Michigan. They work together to protect you from emergencies before they happen. Now they're a Connecting with Community Award finalist. Eva Agetti Cooper has more. You would normally see this Connecting with Community finalist at an emergency, but they go above and beyond to teach you and your kids to be safe. On your hands and knees, boys and girls, not bellies, hands and knees, good job, friends. Escape and Rescue One Fire Safety for Kids are two dedicated organizations made up of volunteers focused on preventing loss of life and property due to fire. 50% of children actually die under the age of five in house fires the and are seriously injured. Down. So this collaboration down brings down safety information in a proactive way to West Michigan children and families. Their efforts keep expanding to include other safety professionals working together to help save lives. As we've grown and outreach into the community, we've had the opportunity to work with a lot of police officers and firefighters. So last year we added distracted driving into the campaign bringing police officers and paramedics on board. We all work on the same accident scenes. Rescue One and all these other groups that are together here today, we, we all do this because we're, our hearts are for kids. We do it because a lot of us have been on scene where we've seen these fatalities, these children hurt. From my aspect, it's more traffic safety. Obviously, Rescue One wants to do more fire safety. If we can all work together, we can get that same safety message and get a bigger audience and get that message out a lot further by working together. We don't just focus on one aspect of safety, but overall family safety. And we have child ID kits that we hand out with Michael at the escape event. It goes home with the families. Also works very well with the fire departments and the police departments. This is a, a part of my job because it's a preventive measure. I mean, if these kids go home and ask their parents to check the smoke detectors or look for an escape just in case there is a fire. I mean, I've done my job. The children, the more they hear this information over and over, the more it will be ingrained in them if they should ever have an emergency, that they could respond from knowledge that they've gained from hearing this message over and over and over again. I'm Eva Aguirre Cooper, 24-hour News 8. Connecting with community. For you, with you.